Today we are doing a water resistant test on these four different materials for cabinetry manufacturing. So, these are the most used materials for cabinet construction. We have plywood here, we have green MDF or MDF Ultra as we call it, we have the standard MDF and then we have the particle board. So for this test we left these four samples into the water for two hours. And here is a time-lapse video. You can see that the particle board on the right soaks water much faster than the other materials. The water spread quite quickly all over the sample. The two MDFs on the center also soak water, but not as fast as the particle board. Now, what really impressed us is that the plywood on the left actually soaks more water than the MDFs. But still, after we removed the samples from the water, the plywood on the left dried up with no damage. It didn't expand. And here is a picture that we took four days after the test. You can see that the particle board on the left is the one who suffered more damage. The standard MDF did expand where it had contact with the water, suffering quite some damage, but he didn't soak or spread so much water as the particle board sample. The green MDF, or MDF Ultra as we call, actually behaved much better. It expanded almost nothing. It is indeed a more resistant MDF against water damage. And final, the plywood. As I said, it did soak the water, but the good side is that the material did expand at all. So I think it's fair to say that plywood is also a very good material for wet areas. So based on this test, we suggest that the MDF green could be used for wet areas like the cabinets under the bathroom and kitchen sinks, for example. In other parts like closets, doors, structures, fillers and other places, we suggest to use the standard MDF. Now, of course plywood is a very good material and we do have plywood construction available here at Siloki. But it just doesn't worth paying such a higher price on the material for cabinets that will have no water contact at all.